Hello, welcome to episode 7 of Dawn of Man. You might notice that we have built a ton more, and that's right, I did it again. I somehow failed to start recording an OBS and sat here and talked through and built about 40 minutes of gameplay here, and uh, it either stopped recording or I never hit record in the first place. But uh, at any rate, we uh, got up to 56 population, researched... Uh, pig domestication and mining and put a couple mines in place. We've got one up here. We have a flint mine that is being worked. And I started building another one up here. And actually, I think that just finished. And then we did a whole bunch of hunting. We built a couple more gates and are constructing a wall, watchtowers, etc. Built another stable. We have set animal limits. 10, 10, and 10, each of goats, pigs, and sheep. And queued up a whole bunch of sledges, and we don't have any leather for those. Leather, of course, being made with dry skins turned into something somewhere, I don't know, that was five episodes ago, and I honestly do not remember. So I'm sure at some point I will be reminded of that either by something in the game or by someone telling me I'm wrong, which is fine by me, skins. Well, somewhere there is a process that makes that. I just honestly haven't been thinking about leather very much at all. Cheese makers, hearths, that's mortars. Can I possibly be that stupid? That dries skins. Is that something I have to make in a crafter? I have a leather outfit. But how do I make how do I make leather? Is that a technology I have to research? It can't be. Because I unlocked tanning. Is that a uh, but it can't be. Oh. Well, you know, sometimes I'm intelligent. This is this is just not one of those times. This is not a uh, not a fantastic uh, day for me to make good choices here. I know it's 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 really irritating not to have an entire forty minutes worth of gameplay recorded available for you guys. But yeah, I end up recording most of these late at night anyway. So that's about the only time I have to do it. And, you know, sometimes you just forget. But the good thing about this game is there's so much individual little, like, tasks and stuff that you can accomplish. It's not like you've ruined something because you missed 40 minutes of gameplay. There's always going to be something else to uh, take a look at, of course. In the middle of harvest season, I decided to build tanners, which, you know, obviously is just the pinnacle of intelligence. So maybe eventually they will uh, they'll build some of those. We can go ahead and have them cut down some more trees because we can use more trees. I'm not so much worried about oak tannins or anything. We just need wood at this point. Cherry trees, though, I will not cut down because those are very useful. Oak, nobody cares at this point. Chestnuts, we will... Uh, We'll keep those. Why did that sound like a dog dying? Okay, well, that wasn't what that was, so that's fine. Go ahead and build these tanning things so we can get leather. I don't know. I thought, you know, you know we actually have these. Oh, we didn't have tannins and we didn't have undried skins, I guess. Well, like I said, I'm not always smart when I do stuff like this. Pigs. Boars. We can hunt that now. Ooh, yes. Well, we should, we should probably save the donkeys. We won't kill those. We will, however, hunt ibex. Aurochs, another ibex. 
we're going to need a bunch of skins. And I think what we got here, more boars. I already have your children. So I think we are okay to go ahead and kill those. All right, well, they're, they're going to go take care of that. But uh, before I stopped, or I guess before I thought I had stopped recording, we did get to seven knowledge. So you can actually watch me unlock one of these in real time for a change. It's going to be either well digging or weaving. And I think weaving is going to unlock so much more for us. We're going to just ignore all that. Get some knowledge. So weaving is going to allow us to make cloths and outfits of linen and wool and should have us. Yes, here we go. A weaver, a place to make cloth and an outfitter, a place to create clothing. So right here, we can go ahead and do one of those and then we'll do an outfitter right next door and they'll e eventually build this stuff and I think that's the only other things it unlocked for us which is fine could probably stand to have a couple more storage huts actually let's check our space now yeah, we've got we've got enough space for now but we should yeah, see, now we have four of these. Hmm, yes. So how about we make leather instead of just drying all of our skins? We have tannins. So I guess we can go ahead and... Oh, we can only collect in spring, of course. You yeah, can't always be smart. All right, so the weaver is done. Wool cloth, linen cloth, and the outfitter as well is going to be fun when we get that set up. I think what we need to do, take a look at see what this does, and then we'll go in and get everything set up supply chain wise. And we might even be at another seven knowledge before we know it. Let's go ahead and finish this for me, please. All right, so that's going to make linen outfit stylish. We have the luxury of style now. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess it's probably good for trade. So now we need to be thinking about our sheep. Of course, oh, it is winter, so they should be sheltering in our stables eventually. So sheep. Why did I just... I didn't know clicking on it would banish them. Well, they'll, they'll get wool from them eventually. Maybe, unless I just have no idea how that works. Are our tanners doing anything? Doesn't seem to me that they are. I guess if I... Okay, we have nine wool. We have wool cloth. Okay, so they're actually in the process of doing something. Yeah, we already have two wool outfits. That'll be good. All right, so we already have foreknowledge. So we actually need more houses. That's something I was going to do in the last episode, last quote unquote episode. <laughs> like, listen, people, I'm trying. I really am. You know, sometimes after a long day, you get your brain fried and you just don't have any clue what's going on. Oh, there's variants for this? That's cool. I didn't even think about that. Well, we'll have to switch up some variants, I guess. All right, well, that's, uh, I don't know, five. All right, traders have arrived. So can we sell? Oh, this isn't worth too much. But we can keep selling adult male goats, I guess. Maybe not. Skins and outfits, we only have two. We can trade a couple of those. Buy. Don't, don't need to try skins. We can go ahead and buy a couple of bows. Probably would not hurt. Tannins to round that out. So that we just need to get to 40 here. 
bone spears I'm not super concerned about. Let's see. I don't want to give away food. Flint picks we have a ton of. So two of those will get us there. And we'll buy now. There we go. Now we have 42. All right, so that is some progress, I suppose. And they are slowly working their way, getting more huts and houses and stuff done. Are we actually collecting any mud? I can't ever remember how I have this stuff set up. Sometimes I wonder if I would be able to actually tell what's going on. Okay, so there actually is mud extraction. I, again, I don't, I don't understand how you even run out of mud. Is the river gone? It's always going to be wet. And therefore, mud. Yeah, so look at that. We have wool cloth times 10. Okay, there we go again. Wool outfit times 10. So we're already almost back up at 7. The knowledge here. And there we go. All right, so we only have a few Neolithic texts left, and then we're going to get into Copper Age stuff. Flax, welding. I'm curious about megalithism. Because I think... Mm, prestige and morale. Okay, so that's, that's always kind of been an issue. All right, so we'll get rid of those. So here we go. Okay, standing megalith. So, oh, we can make Stonehenge. Yes. So what if right outside here there's a variance? Oh, okay. There's three of them. What about... Oh, I can't build this. Raider attack. Well, sound the alarm. Come and get some. Okay, yeah, they're up on the platform here. That's that's useful. They're going to come right across the bridge. Go. Well, that was quick. Don't mess with our guys, I guess. Yeah, me too, old man. Anyway, we were in the process of constructing a religiously significant rock. So, if I put one, if I put one, let's say here, I can't, so I guess I, guess I have to have six of these in a circle. What if I put another one here? Does it have to uh, match up with those? I don't know. Now I'm really curious. If I were to do this, does it have to perfectly match up? I don't know. We'll figure it out. So do we have to mine the megalith? I guess we might. Oh, so we have structures. I guess we move them around. Now I'm really intrigued by this. I guess I probably could read the game help about it. If I can find it. We do structures, spiritual. Okay. Okay, so they have to get mined. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cancel construction of these. I guess I was not understanding how this worked here. So we've mined this. It's been mined. Prepare it for transport. Interesting. So are they going to put it up on a, uh, a platform or something? Are they going to use sledges? Is a rolling megalith something we have to actually build? No, I can't build it. So it just has to happen as a result of all this. Very, very interesting. I don't know. 
Okay, so they need leather and logs. I guess they are going to uh, to do it the way we thought they would. All right, well, it's going to take them a little bit of time to get into that. We'll go ahead and cut down fir tree, fir tree. We'll leave a couple of... There's so many oak trees. It's probably going to be fine. Let's cut a bunch of those out. Megalith we can mine. Eventually. New humans joining settlements is always good. Okay, so we actually have a fair amount of these relatively close. If we get six, I guess we can do a, uh, a stone hedge. Or I guess they, they'd want me to call it a stone circle or something. Yeah. Nothing else in funerary. Oh, no, actually. So we need three. A dolmen and then a cairn. Okay. Uh, this is an interesting, interesting prospect nonetheless. Go ahead and cut down some of these trees. And we are doing quite well considering I can't remember how to, you know, actually record the game. I want to see them do, I want to see them move this. I guess we don't have enough leather, which uh, to me sounds like a pretty good excuse to go hunting. So that's what we will go ahead and set up here is these five right here will be hunted and we will put their skins to good use to make leather. And I can see all the people coming this way. Meanwhile, our family is just kind of chilling right here. Yeah, it's uh, it's about over for you guys. And they scatter. Wow, one shot. All right, well, a couple, a couple of them got hunted down. That's fine. I want to see this thing on a cart. I think it would be fun, at least. All right, so they just need the leather now. Now we can get somewhere. They will have leather, ideally. Maybe. Do they ever finish the wall? Not quite. They are almost there. Just a little bit more of that. All right, so I think I already selected six of these to be taken care of here. But it could, it could take a very long time to get these all set up. They're not even bringing leather out here. Well, it takes time, I guess. So in that vein, let's find some other stuff to hunt here. Maybe, unless there's nothing, uh, nothing around. So what are these? Boars? Well, we can just go ahead and take care of all of that, because we have our own little population there. So they'll uh, they'll go dispatch those relatively quickly. So I think they built all those huts already. We have the capacity for 80 people. Pretty good progress if I say so myself. They still need a bunch of leather. Well, we'll have skins soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Beach trees can go bye-bye. Pine trees can definitely go bye bye. Anything else that's not useful here? Beach. Go right ahead. We'll just cut a bunch of these down. All right, traders here. 
Are you a useful trader? Hmm, not especially. I don't think we really need any of this. Could probably use a few bows. But then what do we offer in return, huh? I don't know that we can really offer too much that would actually be useful. Could offer a female sheep. That's worth quite a bit, but I don't know if I want to offer a sheep in exchange for a couple bows. That seems kind of foolish. Hmm. Flint axes. I could do a couple of those. A couple bone spears. And then some flour. Yeah, there we go. I'm sure someone is out there saying, that's a terrible trade. Why are you doing that? Yeah. I just like playing the game. Sometimes you make good choices. Sometimes you make terrible choices. And sometimes you have no idea which one. Let's go ahead and build a bridge over here. I guess I could, I could be realistic and just go the shortest route, but I think I like that right there. That'll be a good place for that to go. They have the, they don't have this thing on a cart yet. Seriously, come on. We got stuff to do. We have all sorts of stuff to get done here. Little pine tree? No, cut that down. Guess they slaughtered a goat because I saw that go from twelve to a uh, eleven real quick. Come on, people. If, if you do nothing else, I want you to make this rolling megalith happen. You gotta be able to, gotta be able to get that done. Can't possibly be that hard. Oh, I guess I could make it high priority if I actually want it to get done. A stylish wool outfit. All right, people. It's your time to shine. Put the stone on a cart. It's not that hard. I guess it is that hard. They're still not doing it. Well, at some point they'll do it. Maybe. It'll be while well, I'm not paying attention. What else can we hunt for skins? Oh, hey, look. And hunt these guys. I guess at this point this is more or less a complete and total extermination of everything that isn't domesticated, which is unfortunate. But we need skins. Are these raiders or traders? Oh, those are our guys. Well, that shows how much I know about our people. 54 of them. Oh no, five new humans. Those are actually our new guys, so I guess I did know. Hey, <laughs> Still not any leather over here. Shameful. These have all been mined. So we can go ahead and prepare, that's three prepared for transport, or queued up to prepare for transport. Four, five, I think we just need one more. Did I already do this one? Yes, okay. I guess that can be number six. Potentially. If anyone decides to, you know, actually go over there and do it. Yes. Why in the megalith? A trader has arrived. All right. Do you have anything? Well, digging. Low commission. It's still going to be 260. Other than that, you really don't have anything useful. So what if we just did that? Oh, we've got we've got animals we can offer here. 
So if we offer that gets us a lot of the way there. We can do skins outfits to get us most of the rest of the way there. And how about some tasty bread? There, and now we have well digging, which is of course gonna allow us to make wells. So if we can go ahead and I think it's gonna be under production. Yes. Note the description is let's go back and read that again. A hole in the ground to extract water. Yeah. That's uh, not really great flavor text, but uh, it sure is accurate. So we'll build a couple of those. And maybe another one over here in front of some of the houses. So that'll be a huge improvement there. And with that, there is just one Neolithic tech left to unlock. And I think that's going to be maybe attainable in this episode. When, of course, we're done with that, we will then set our sights on the Copper Age. Oh, we already have five again? Wow, okay. Well. Ooh, 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 I can see one log under it. Come on. Come on. We just need two leather. I want to see these stupid rocks on a cart. I know you can do it. I know you have it within you, the power within. Oh, did somebody say hunting boars? Let's go ahead and hunt some boars. Actually, you know what? The little ones, little ones let's capture. Because we don't have a ton of those anymore since we sold some. We'll see if anyone's able to actually carry out our mission here. Oh, they scattered. Well, if they don't, then uh, that's their loss. Are you marked for hunting? No, you're probably already a goat. But we do need more skins, so it's kind of unavoidable. It's almost the end of spring, though. Do we have tannins? Actually, we need... Do I have to manually tell these people to collect tannins every time? I might have to. Oh. Okay, so I guess they can't. Hmm. Well, it also probably doesn't help that I'm asking them to make so many sledges out of all the leather we have. All right, there just there just has to be more, more stuff getting done here. Bison, young females. You know what? They'll they'll be fine if we just take all the babies. We gotta get leather somehow. There's all sorts of stuff going on over here. If we get one more point, we can unlock the last of the Neolithic technologies. Ancient bison attack. Well, that's because we uh, decided to attack them. All right, so there's eight. Wow. So now our sledges are all broken, of course. That's the way it goes. Let's go ahead and unlock flax domestication. And then I believe Oh, plant flax. Well, yep, I could have told you that. Oh, another milestone. Yeah, that's that one we were missing. Neo farmer. I appreciate how it chooses an interesting view of the uh, the town every time you do one of these. Cool. So we can domesticate the trees now, I guess, and plant flax. Oh, no, it just unlocks that. Okay, so flax. Why don't we use flax as our first big crop field out here? And then we can... Uh, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll just leave flax out here by itself. That's fine. We need so much more. This mammoth again. 
We need so much more skin than we can possibly hope to obtain. All right, so they're actually in the process of doing that as we speak. So we've actually accomplished quite a bit in this episode seven, quote unquote. I guess if you count how much time I've thought I was recording, this would be episode nine. But eh, no matter. There's still enough interesting stuff to uh, take a look at here. I just I love seeing this tech tree all filled out. It's going to be fun to uh, get into the Copper Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age after uh, all of that stuff in the next couple episodes. But we are just about out of time. And we have we've done a pretty decent amount of stuff taking a look at the town here. Of course, all of this is old. But we've got 59 residents, space for 21 more. We've got pretty much completely enclosed, more or less, aside from the little river thing here. But uh, anyway, I think this looks pretty nice. All sorts of stuff researched. They never did, never did get the rolling megaliths finished in this episode. That could be, could be next time. But like I said, well, actually, we'll deal with the trader first, and then we'll see if they got anything of value here. Dry skins, no, we can make those. Nah, they got nothing. They can go ahead and get on out of there. And you guys can go ahead and get on out of there too, because that's all the time we got for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's frustrating to have time skips and stuff, but sometimes stuff just happens. You got to deal with it. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm enjoying making it, and I can't wait to see where we go next. But until next time, bye-bye.